Oh, we started. I'm sorry. I was just taking a snap so that I could send my friends. This is social media. This is a very destructive thing. Each and every one of us are accessible to social media. Well, just a few nights before, it was Amal night. I think it was the 19th or the 21st night of Ramadan. There was an uncle sitting, no, sorry, there was a teenager around in his 20s. He was sitting next to me. Guess what he did? He took out his phone. He took a video of people doing Amal. Now, I don't know what was that for. Maybe he wanted to go home and watch it, and, which I highly doubt it. Or maybe he wanted to send it as a snap so that other people can know that he, this guy, mashallah, he's so religious, a saint. This is a generation of where everyone wants likes. I'm, you post a picture in Instagram every single hour. You open your phone and you see, oh my God, this guy liked it. Oh my God, this girl liked it. And so much more. Well, Habibi, if a person from Kazakhstan likes your post, why do you actually care when the person who should actually like you is Allah and not some random, un ran random uncle you see in, you have never seen in your life? Does social media actually promote co communication or not? Today, families, when they gather around the dinner table and they see their son is not there, He's locked up in his room, watching TikTok and doing God knows what. And uh, he's waiting for him. Where is my son? He's locked inside. So what does he do? Does he go and walk towards the room? Or rather, he would just DM him. Oh, Abbas, come here and just uh, enjoy this. But what I mentioned is not applicable to our community. Because if we do that, you're going to get a thousand of sleepers thrown at us. Allah says about the people of Jannat, Muslims. In, when they are in paradise, they would be sitting in thrones and facing one another, not FaceTiming one another. Islam is, is, has a very strong stance in socializing. Imam Ali has said, speak so that, you, so that you may be known, since man is hidden under the tongue. <clears throat> we, our actions are all publicized. But who is actually at fault? Well, a guy, he is a Snapchatter in Florida. He took a snap of his cash and he sent it to everyone. Guess what? Two hours later, he gets robbed. For what? Just because he sent a snap of him, of him having so much of cash. What can we actually do? We can select who can be in our followers list and we can limit the time we have in social media. This is where I would quote Surah Al Asr. Wal, this, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Wal us. It is, Allah swears by time. He says that time is something very precious. Imagine I give you $86,400. What will, what, will what will you be thinking about it? I told you that you have to spend it by the end of the day. So you'll spend wisely, obviously. So Allah has granted to us 86,400 seconds. Why can't you make the most out of it? We should not, time, we should not waste our time. There is a hadith mentioned by a very prominent and fallible. He says that the, that a mu'min would divide his day into three parts. One is for worship, one is for sleeping, and one is for entertainment. Yes, you can, you can use social media, but to a limit. Have we ever come across Facebook? You, you, you scroll through Facebook and you're like, oh my God, I actually had a pleasant time. Obviously not. Pleasant time what? My cousin posted a picture of biryani for iftar. That's what pleasant is. No, it's not. Well, I can see my mom is looking at me. She's thinking, oh my God, why are you thinking about Facebook? It's like, please, ab kuch or mat bolna. Well, for those of you who don't know what that means, it means that if you want to have a house over your head, please don't say anything more about Facebook. If it, it is all us, yes, I agree, these companies create apps, but who actually supports them? It is all us. Let's make a reel of this speech. Snap what's for iftar. TikTok before Sehri. Tweet the Maulana. Post our post-Sehri plans and pray for a good time sleep. Thank you so much. Any questions? Thank you, Abbas. How good was recording this, snapping it, putting up a read about it? Time for questions. Um, Asa, do you have a question? Can you go for it?
Yeah, I do. Okay, what do you like posting about Oh, Islamic content. I have my Insta page of where I post Islamic related stuff so that I can. Yes. Okay. What is your Insta Instagram? Yes, Instagram. Shia Muslim 72. Shia Muslim. Yeah. Okay, what's the last post you have uh, put up there? Oh, well, in this month. Yeah, okay. In this month of Ramadan, I have selected some individuals. I can mention their names. First one is me, obviously. And the second is Ali Muntazir Sikiladda. Uh, third is, uh, um, I don't, we had a participant last week, his name is Muhammad Abbas Muhammad, he has a brother, I'm going to post his uh, thingy soon. Well, there are so many people, you can just check in Instagram, and what motivated me? Now, I have seen uh, Sheikh Hilly, one of the best scholars, I'm sure everyone loves him. He has his own page, New Islamic Education. Now, he always posts few minutes clips of how we can benefit from Islam and whatever, so that, that's why I got inspiration from him. And I really look up to him, so I, that's how I did uh, this. Any other questions? Do you have any other questions? So, what you're saying is social media is not good. Too much social media. Uh, too much social media. What is too much? Going b beyond your boundaries. Like, obviously, you can, obviously everyone won't, would want to use social media. But to a limit. Imagine 24 hours a day, you just use social media. That's... Unacceptable. You're wasting a lot of your precious time. But in 24 hours, you eat, you sleep, you shower. I don't think 24 hours is the spent on social oh, That was a hyperbole. Like, it was just exaggeration. I don't actually mean 24 hours. All right. Now, a lot of us run our businesses through social media. Yeah. Now, when you say you run your business through social media, Mm -hmm. Now, if I were to tell everybody, please keep you know, your usage to a bare minimum, how would my business run? Well, you see, you can act, social media is something that many businesses use to, to, to encourage people to buy from them. Like, even my mom, she has an Instagram account of where she posts uh, clothes related stuff. So that's how she gets her, some of her orders. It's very important, obviously. Like, how will homemade uh, businesses? Then go go along. So I'm I'm saying, well, to a limit. Like you can't just exceed it. Like as I mentioned, as a hyperbole, you can't exceed that many hours. Right, thank you, thank you very much, Abbas. Uh, can you please have a round of applause?